everyone so it is very early too early in the morning on wednesday the 3rd of october um as you can tell this whole monthly vlog thing is already going very well given that i haven't actually vlogged anything over the past two days um but i had uni the other day and then yesterday i basically did nothing all day so today uni turned to one and then i think i'm actually gonna go to the gym for like the first time in a month so whoa um that's gonna be groundbreaking um other than that there's really not that much going on today my friend ellie has um a poetry reading thing going on tonight which we're gonna go to which is really exciting um other than that i'm literally just eating a yogurt and watching riverdale so <laughs> great to be me love it I lost six pounds and gained a stalker. <laughs> the two are not connected, I just feel they both matter. Matter. When my new boss jumped to my side and gave a statement, I felt like I mattered. In the fourth retelling of our encounters and the second retelling of that day, I think about moving to New Zealand. I think about moving somewhere his dark eyes do not follow. I think a lot about how now the streets of my childhood will be forever tinged with the fear of him and this action of looking over my shoulder. I think about how the streets I call mine are not mine but his, or soon they will be split like a divorced couple and their CDs. But land is not CDs. No, no, he cannot have the park where I had my first kiss and cigarette and met my soulmate. No. He cannot have the library street for the place I fought, saw my future carved into the stone like a temple of God. No, no, he cannot have my favorite restaurant, coffee shop, no. These streets hold my memories like fairy lights around my bed. And if he takes one, the rest will follow suit. No, these fairy lights, I need them. They light up the room where I search for him and they remind me my home is still safe, even in darkness. Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Saturday morning. We are, Mimi and I are heading to the Jeffree Star Can't Relate tour today at Event City, which is really, really exciting. Um, and so I'm just making breakfast. I've done some cool makeup. And I'm watching Saturday Kitchen Live and making breakfast. And life is pretty cool. Um, we're very excited. So yeah, it's gonna be fun and I'm gonna take you along with me today. It's many hours later. Like it's <laughs> you look so uncomfortable. You don't have to be in it if you don't want to. I'm a bit awkward. And we got back quite a while ago. I'm just bad at this YouTube thing. Um, and yeah, it's just... I don't know what to say. Did you have a good time? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a very good time. It was really fun and... Uh, we got some stuff in the goodie bags, which I'll probably show you tomorrow because I'm really tired. Um, and yeah, it's very exciting and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Oh no, you're too late. Um, I'm coming to you on Sunday morning at 8.35 from my kitchen. This is very early for me on a Sunday. Um, I slept really well last night though. I went to bed quite a decent time. For me anyway, like half 11, which is early. Um, so I have quite a lot to do today anyway. I've got quite a lot of work to do because I'm leading our seminar tomorrow and I 
haven't looked at any of the material yet so I need to look at all of that make some notes actually sort of think about it um, and yeah that's today pretty much it's laundry day today aka I need to wash my bed sheets badly because they're disgusting um, when I had my messy night the other night I accidentally I think I threw up on one of my pillowcases so I need to wash them before they get gross well even more gross than they already are so that's today basically just a whole kind of like sorting my life out <laughs> Six hours of uni today. It's pretty early, it's 10 to 9, and I need to go in like 15 minutes or so. Um, yeah, I'm just having a yogurt. I'm very tired. Um, I was up finishing work for today's seminar last night, and I think I know what I'm doing, but I also kind of don't, so it could be a fun day. I didn't wake up in time to have a shower today, so this is the hair situation. I'm wearing a cute outfit, which is good. I've actually like put effort into my outfit today, which is mad. I never do. Um, basically, yeah, that's all that's going on today. It's just uni after uni after uni today. I have both my English modules on the same day, which kind of sucks, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm so tried on. Tried on something. good like um segment of the vlog yesterday like uni come with me for seven hours of uni and then i just didn't because i forgot um today is a no uni day so it's instead a life admin day i currently have a nice big wad of toilet not toilet paper kitchen roll on my bed um because i had an accident last night named period three days early and I was not prepared for it so that's the situation with my bed which means my bed is out of action today for work and lying on so I have to clean my desk before I can do any work <sighs> um so I think I'm gonna start off with a shower to sort out this mop of hair because it literally looks like a mop at the moment I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea first because <laughs> When I get out of the shower, it's then like perfect drinkable temperature, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get dressed. Um, and then Tom is coming over tonight. I have to go meet him in town, which isn't so bad, I guess. Bit of a ball lake, but saves him getting lost, I guess. Um, and then... That's basically... <sighs> That's basically it today. So yeah, woo! I'll see you later. Had a shower, trying to sort out the blood stain on my duvet still, had a cup of tea, set up an entire flat lay and my battery is out of charge. So I'm charging the camera battery and I feel like I should do something else while I'm waiting, but I'm just like <sighs> So I don't know, I might put some makeup on and then I don't know. It's just my flat lay is my outfit for today. <sighs> so I'm trying. I'm trying. I promise I'm trying. Here's an update for you. Right. I got my book photos done. I'm now dressed. I haven't done my makeup yet, so I'm still looking like a bit of a mess. Um, sheet update. 
Cold water and salt didn't work. So we're now vanishing it because Rhiannon has vanished. She said I could use it. The problem I've got is that the blood has actually gone through onto the mattress protector and the mattress. And I don't really know what to do about that because they're not mine, they're my landlady's. So I'm a bit like, fuck, 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 fuck. What do I do? Um, if anyone has any bright ideas, please let me know. Um, I'm, I honestly don't know what to do because this is the joys of adulting. You actually, you have to actually like get rid of your blood stains yourself. We're vanishing. Getting the big guns out. Right, so I've done the pre-treat. Soak, had one scoop to four liters of water at 40 degrees. Six hours? I can't soak it for six hours. Oh, do you know what? I think I'm just gonna wash it. I'm just gonna wash it, I think. One scoop to a wash and I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just gonna do that because I, I really cannot be asked. Honestly, it's an Ikea double bed sheet. So if, oh God, whose is that? Is that? Fucking hell. Oh, I don't know whose washing is in there. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Bear with. Next day bed sheet update. I didn't manage to wash it because I didn't actually get the washing machine all day. Um, and it's just kind of a bit stained and gross, so it's just gonna have to wait until I <laughs> wash my bed sheets next. I managed to get the worst of the stain out, so it's fine. And now I'm back home from uni this morning. Um, I've written a great short story about um, a boy whose girlfriend died from a heroin addiction. That second year creative writing for you, um, it's that depressing. Uh, and the rest of today is very dull. I'm basically doing nothing. Exciting. I mean, it's already quarter past two anyway, so you know, I don't, want, I don't know what else I could be doing. Actually, there's probably quite a lot I could be doing, but I'm not doing it. I'm having a bit of a crisis, I guess you could say. I need to place my door actually because in case my housemate's gonna. That, my crisis. Um, is it a crisis? I'm not sure. A bit of self-doubt, perhaps, um, because obviously I went to uni this morning and it was really fun and everything, um, and I've written a story and stuff, um, but it's kind of been playing on my mind, on my mind that, like, I'm just worried that I'm not creative enough for this. I mean, my tutor was saying earlier about all these different things you could do to, like, rewrite a song into a story and stuff, and I was just like like half of these things I would never think to do and it's just like I don't have kind of crazy mad ideas or like I don't have any kind of profound like moments of whatever and I'm just really sort of like worried that not that I'm not good enough but that I'm just not deep enough and that I'm not ever going to be taken seriously as a serious writer because I don't have I'm not I'm not I'm just I'm just not that deep like I'm not that wacky or creative or have any wacky creative ideas and stuff and I just I don't know I think I'm not like doubting my ability because I know that I'm a good writer but I'm not a very good serious writer and I think that's my problem it's a really weird feeling because I just think to myself like how am I ever gonna succeed in this if I don't have, if I don't ever have any like different ideas that aren't just stupid and because literally that's all my ideas are, they're just like stupid like comedy things and like it's not, you know, I'm not saying that comedy isn't serious, isn't like a serious form of writing because like it is but I don't feel like that and I feel like I'm being shoved down this path of like oh you've got to, you've got to be really profound and deep all the time and it's like but I'm not a deep person, I don't take myself seriously, I don't take anything seriously and I'm not saying I'm going to drop out uni, like, that's that's a bit extreme, I'm not going to drop out uni, but, like, I don't know, I think I'm just having a bit of self-doubt that I'm not quite what they want me to be, I'm not, I don't fit into the box of a serious writer, I don't know, am I making any sense? Who even knows at this point, um, but yeah, um, I don't know, if anyone else feels this way, please let me know, because it's scary and I don't really know how to feel about it. So yeah.
has an old college, but I like it. So you have your hair. Here is my yearbook clothes. My Why? Clothes is absolutely Why? 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 Good morning. So it is Friday the 19th of October. I've told myself I'm actually going to vlog this weekend. I was meant to do a monthly vlog for October. As you can see, that didn't really happen. It's Friday the 19th of October. I was... The thing is with vlogging right at the moment is that I basically have nothing to vlog because like I usually... When I used to vlog last year, I vlogged in like lectures and seminars and stuff like that. But I can't really this year because... I'm in classes with people I don't know because um, we're all on like different units and modules and stuff so I feel really awkward like getting my phone out and being like I'm internet famous <laughs> um, when actually it's complete lie. Yeah I don't know just I'll be very busy <sighs> but I'm going to try and vlog today because I'm actually going home tonight for the weekend um, to go to the People's Vote March for Our Future March tomorrow in London, which is going to be really exciting. So I'm going to try and vlog a little bit um, when I'm at home because my parents don't judge me <laughs> as much as people at uni would. Okay, outfit today, ignoring kinky hair. Uh, very basic um, jeans, boyfriend jeans from Old Navy, green t-shirt from Topshop. And I'm going to put on that grey sweatshirt, which is from h &M. So yeah, that's today. Okay, so I just went out to get some milk from the co-op and I'm going to have to change my jeans because it is bloody freezing outside. It's like minus degrees. It's probably not minus, but like it's really cold um, and I don't fancy cycling with ripped jeans on. Um, <sighs> I'm going to have to put gloves on as well and the only things I've got are like a stupid pair of like flappy mittens. So... Thank you. 